everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Are you feeling Fukushima? Oh, yeah. Are you feeling it? Yeah. Near you, or far away? Yeah. <laughs> we wish we were marching in Fukushima. Look at all these people. Yeah. But we can't be there. It's contaminated with radiation. Um, I just want to share testimony, the words from a woman in Fukushima. She wrote this anonymously because she can't share her fear and anger um, publicly because the, the whole issue with the radiation is creating ruptures within her communities, her family, her workplaces. Um, so I'm just going to read it out. After Fukushima, seeing, such, seeing that such a drastic change has occurred in our environment, we had to change drastically, drastically too. We decided that we shouldn't do the same thing that we did before. We decided that we shouldn't keep walking along the extension of the previous life. We decided that we shouldn't long for going back to that time. As we struggled inside the swirls of information and emotions, we have come to the conclusion. We still had a lot to lose, even after we had lost so much. A lot of people like her had to make a choice, whether to drink the water, whether to eat or throw away the food that your neighbor gave you, whether to eat the cooking of your grandmother, whether to speak out or to shut up. <laughs> so we have to keep Fukushima in mind and the struggle is continuing it's not ending this is a disaster without end wherever disaster with radio radiation happens it will never end so the drastic change this woman is talking about is not about talking truth speaking truth to the power it's not about demanding to politicians what we want to do. It's, it, it means that we have to be the power and we have to be the change and we have to grow our homegrown and a local organizing and homegrown organizing to power ourselves. Yes. That means a drastic change. Now I'm, um, I'm gonna hand over the mic to Riona. Oh, yet if um Shell Yona Morgan in Chant would it eat in a shle, Tenha Bethany Bushish Chin, Kiani Dashi Che, Koglini Dashinella, Uranium issues by Nash Nish, um DA Shik is uh Shadi Yuko Tonahira. Uh it's my very close personal friend. And we work on our issues in solidarity with respect to each other's local struggles. We come together to unite the people who are suffering from the radiation exposure that has been propagated by the nuclear industrial complex and by the military industrial complex. And so when we're talking about nuclear power and nuclear weapons, I'm asking everyone here to remember what is the source of that nuclear energy? What is the source of that nuclear power? It comes from uranium. And there's a lot of uranium on indigenous lands. And the United States targeted our people to mine this radioactive, toxic, chemical ingredient of mass destruction in order to bomb my friends, people across the world. It was not necessary. We did not have to drop the bombs in Japan. It was a show of U.S. imperialism. It was a show of U.S. capitalism. 
one, it was a show of racism. And so when we're fighting to change, make the drastic change that Yuko has so eloquently read in the quote from this, this brave woman, we are here to remind everybody that that change is not just going to a march with millions of people. That change is every day when we wake up, when we open our eyes. How do we greet the sun? How do we acknowledge our lives? I am Dene. I come from Navajo Nation. That's what the colonizer named our, our lands. We call it Dinetka. And our people, we don't have words for money. We don't have words for capitalism. But we always had a word for uranium. And so our people knew before colonization, before the atomic bomb was created with that first nuclear reaction on December 2nd, 1942, and before that first test bomb was dropped on July, 17, July 16, 1945, and before the spill that occurred at Church Rock in 1979, we knew before these disasters, and definitely before Fukushima, that uranium is a poison and that we must leave it in the ground. And so... Okay, so in order for us to come together in solidarity, we can't just be fighting reactors. We can't just be fighting nuclear weapons. We need to address the whole spectrum of the nuclear issue. And it starts with colonization. It starts with capitalism, and it starts with racism. We need to fight these monsters in order to come together. And we need to learn and respect other cultures. As indigenous people, we are at the front of this march. My relatives are at the front of this march, leading this march. And I am here with the anti-nuke rally to stand in solidarity, to remind us that uranium must stay in the ground. And every time I talk about uranium mining, I talk about reactor communities. I talk about my friends in Japan. And I don't forget the local struggles that all those people are doing. But I'm not gonna try to in intersect and, and, and try to run what they're doing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stand back and I'm gonna support their movements. So as indigenous people, we're not asking you for your help. We're not victims. We don't want you to save us. We want you to stand side by side and fight with us. So that's just, from my people, the word for uranium is tletso. And so we have some, we have a saying on Navajo, it's tletso doda. We don't want this uranium industry. We didn't ask for it. Yuko told us a story. In Fukushima, they have to make a choice. We don't have that choice. As indigenous people, this is our land. We are not moving. We will not be relocated. You cannot kill us. You cannot take away our cultural resources. And so we don't have that choice. We can't leave. My people are drinking contaminated water. Animals are living and eating contaminated plants that grow because of the nuclear industry. They totally bombed our relatives from Western Shoshone to the Marshall Islands. All of these struggles we cannot forget. And so in solidarity, we're going to talk about this, this, this new chant that Yuko and I, we are bringing a new message with an old traditional chant that comes from Japan. And so I'm going to hand the mic back over to Yuko and we're going to ask everyone to join us in this chant. Thank you. Let's go from the beginning. No more church rock. No more Hiroshima. No more Nagasaki. Fukushima. No more Fukushima. Thank you very much, everyone. And we're very honored and, and happy.
happy to be here and thank you for Nears for the invitation. Yeah. So thank you, thank you for letting us uh, start this march with some more chanting about the issues we're all working on together. We're all in the same fight. And earlier we explained this chant. It's a Japanese chant. They started it in Japan and we're we're recreating it here. We did not forget. 